These flow rates were at that time described as bulk volumetric rates because we had no accurate information as to the fluid composition and BP had denied clearance for my team to use isobaric samplers to collect and analyze end member fluids from within the leak. Through the continued support of the, of the Coast Guard and the direct involvement of USGS Director Dr. Marcia McNutt, I was authorized to lead a second team back to the Deepwater Horizon site and collect end member fluids from within the LMRP top hat using the same samplers that had previously been prohibited by BP. Uh, thank you. Uh, Dr. Camilli, uh, you indicated that you were contacted by the Coast Guard early on uh, to uh, come down to Louisiana and assist in uh, estimating the, um, the oil. Uh, and in your written testimony, you indicated that you were denied uh, permission by BP uh, to the staging area in Homa. Uh, I think I heard you say in your uh, oral statement today that BP also prohibited you from using uh, samplers. Uh, were you given a reason what was going on? The issue of the samplers uh, revolved around uh, what was deemed uh, as uh, 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 safe and acceptable. Much of the, uh, uh, many of the assets that are used at, uh, at uh, the Woods Hole or Oceanographic institution uh, are actually owned by the Navy. As such, they fall under NAVC uh, guidelines for safety. And the samplers that were in question are designed to hold samples at uh, the ambient pressure where they were collected. So at 1,500 meters equivalent uh, uh, depth. Now these samplers that we had, uh, they um, were certified using our uh, Alvin standard, which uh, requires a safety factor of 1.5. Uh, and uh, designed for what's called full Alvin depth, which basically converts out to an equivalent depth of 6,000 meters. We provided that information, uh, although uh, BP chose to use the, the American Bureau of Shipping, which requires a different standard. Um, uh, we tried unsuccessfully to get them to recognize the standards that we use. And that at that point, uh, that's when uh, Dr. McNutt uh, assisted us and um, was able to show that uh, the uh, ABS standards actually did not apply in this case because uh, these pieces of equipment were not actually bolted onto a ship. So, it, and then we were allowed to return and, and make those uh, 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 sample collections. And how much time did this uh, process take? Uh, I think that process was something on the order of three weeks. I'm sorry. Three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks before we could uh, get back out on site. And, and uh, so it wasn't uh, simply a matter of, of getting uh, an approval. It was uh, to arrange so that we could remobilize and, and get back out on site with ROVs and, and take the samples. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mr. Chairman, I don't have any uh, further questions.